Hey guys, this week we're reading Apple Pie, 4th of July by Janet S. Wong. Pictures by Caldecott winner, honor winner, Margaret Chodos Irv Irvine. Seven days a week, 52 weeks, 364 days a year, and 365 in a leap year. Our store is open. Christmas is the only day we close. Even on Thanksgiving, we open the, do the store. Even on the New Year's Day. Even today, the 4th of July. I hear the parade coming this way. Boom, boom, boom. I smell apple pie in Moore's oven upstairs. And chow mein in our kitchen. Chow mein. Chinese food on the 4th of July? No one wants Chinese food on the 4th of July, I say. Fireworks are Chinese, father says and hands me a pan full of sweet and sour pork. I hear the parade, boom, boom, boom. I hear the parade passing by. Noon and customers come for soda and potato chips. One o'clock and they buy ice cream. Two o'clock, the egg rolls are getting hard. Three o'clock, ice and matches. Four o'clock and the noodles feel like shoelaces. No one wants Chinese food on the 4th of July, I say. Mother piles noodle, noodles on my plate. My parents do not understand all American things. They were not born here. Even though my father has lived here since he was 12, even though my mother loves apple pie, I cannot, ex cannot expect them to know Americans do not eat Chinese food on the 4th of July. So I straighten the milk and the videos and sample a new candy bars until five o'clock when two hungry customers walk inside for some Chinese food to go. I tell them no one, no one came, so we ate it up ourselves, but they smell food in the kitchen now. And mother walks through the swinging door holding a tray of chicken chow mein, and father follows her step for step with a brand new pan of sweet and sour pork. And three more people get in line, 11 more at six o'clock, Nine at seven, twelve by eight. More and more and more and more. Until it's time to close the store. Time to climb to our rooftop chairs way up high beyond the crowd. Where we sit and watch the fireworks show. And eat our apple pie. The end.